Pitsy Pop. Go big stretch. Good boy. Oh, so cute. Question, guys. What do you think of this breadwinning housewife blanket for like a winter drop? Hi guys, welcome to another week in my life vlog. My Uber has just arrived. I like hate making people wait for me and granted, I mean he's early and it's a two minute wait, but like I hate it. So anyways, I'm in a rush. I'm packing my carry-on. I have my bags packed. I'm actually bringing two suitcases, which is actually the first time I've ever done that. By the way, the set is Zara. So cute. My first time ever doing that, but I just had a lot of looks that I need to do. I'm in Nashville for work for the week. And then I have some friends meeting me this weekend. Dom is actually one of them, and then it's a bunch of Dallas girls, so I probably will vlog only because Dom is there. I normally don't really vlog my like Dallas social life, but I think I might. So that might be another vlog. Um, I'm going to Nashville, one of my favorite cities. The only other place that I would live besides Dallas, and honestly like New York. These way face masks are the best thing ever. I have my cute Okine tote. These will be available um, when we launch, which is in April, which is so crazy. Anyways, I'm off to the airport. We're going to Nashville for the week. <gasps> Subscribe. Okay, bye. All right, guys, I finally got to my hotel room. This music needs to stop playing. There's not a closet or like any storage at all though. I'm about to walk to get food. I'm so hungry, but there is not a closet or anything, which is unfortunate because I like to be really organized, especially when I'm here for work. So I'll have to figure that out when I get back, but I'm staying at the boat. Here I am off the flight. I'm really hot in this outfit, honestly, but like, I don't know if I'm gonna change. This is not a closet. This just opens to like another door that's blocked off for the next unit. Then over here, the bathroom is really nice and cute. Here I am. It's gonna be nice to have all my stuff laid out here and then the actual tub itself is so cute has little bowed products here love this for me so anyways i'm just gonna have to get organized unpack and work when i get home but i'm gonna go get some barbecue and read my kindle and eat by myself maybe get a mark or something it was actually a long travel day my flight got delayed a bit but this is the look currently i just wish i had a closet i know that's like not a big deal but i just have to be organized or i'll get stressed so we'll be figuring that out tonight like how cute is this place the sidebar is open on weekends my food has arrived. I got a brisket sandwich, fries, pie, margarita. I forgot my Kindle, so not as fun. All right, I had two outfits delivered here. This one is so beautiful. They brought from Zara. The problem is, it's just kind of hot here. It's getting colder this weekend, and I didn't realize it was gonna be hot during the week. So we'll see. I'm gonna try them on, and then I have this blue like suit set. I just love a good suit set. I mean, nothing makes you feel better. So I guess we'll see. I'm only recording two tomorrow. I don't know. This is so cute, and I have like the perfect shoes for it too. Okay, so I love this. I don't know which top for sure I'm gonna wear underneath it. I just have the Skims bra on. I wear these every day i'll link them below the best bras ever i mean it's just so cute also i will say like the actual inside of these pants is so cozy like these pants as a whole just fit so well i mean i love them i just cannot believe how well they fit so cute also incredible pants beautiful color i love it i thought it was gonna be more of like an electric blue it's definitely more of like a deep navy but i still love it it's so cute i just showered and i have a sheet mask on i've been using this one from finish i cannot take myself seriously Seriously, my skin has been really acting up. I have some breakouts, which is fine. Like, obviously happens to everyone, but just on camera all week, so kind of annoying. So I'm just gonna do this, and then probably for the next like, hour or so, continue to episode prep and just make sure everything is set. We are good to go. I'm also gonna put Nashville on because I have been rewatching it. I know that's probably really cheesy because I'm in Nashville, but like it really is probably my favorite show of all time. So besides Friday Night Lights and One Tree Hill, I'll have like kind of some sort of similar vibe. Actually, what do you guys think is a similar vibe between those three shows? They almost just like feel like home almost but I don't really know how to describe it other than like they give you kind of similar vibes a little bit and it's not that Connie Britton is in Friday Night Lights in Nashville I mean One Tree Hill uh, more so in Friday Night Lights in Nashville but still all right anyways my skips pajamas of course
Good morning, guys. I'm about to head off to Dry Bar. My Uber is on the way. I'm staying in an area that's like pretty walkable. Um, the only thing that isn't is my Dry Bar. So it's like seven. I am currently downloading videos and stuff. Obviously, I'm still working, but I think I'm saving my Kindle. I was gonna work there this morning, but I kind of just want to read and maybe I'll work on my phone. I just don't want to carry stuff right now. So that's what we have here. I'm wearing a Year of Ours set, my Nikes that I love. I'll link them because I wear them all the time. And then this is actually like an HM sweater. I have a matching set. Um, and then obviously my Balenciaga bag and we are off update on my breakouts I think they have gotten better like they definitely went down a little bit over the night but like those like have chicken pox It's the weirdest thing ever. I need to go back to when I had glowing clear skin. I miss those days I have my hair blown out and let me just tell you do I feel like a different woman getting your hair done is truly the best feeling in the entire world So anyways, it's 9 30. I'm getting my makeup done at 11 So I'm actually going to get some work done and then I'll catch up with you guys then But let me just tell you I get the Cosmo tie by the way when I'm gonna blow up to blow out to dry bar It's my fave it lasts the longest for me too. I have my outfit for today picked out I think I'm gonna wear this Zara suit the thing is like I can't steam this because it's like pleather, right? I think it's gonna be fine and then I'm gonna wear that skims top this material of this t-shirt it's just like the best thing ever i'm obviously the biggest like skims fan in general but this t-shirt specifically is like incredible it's really interesting like now that i have a clothing brand i'm always checking what it is but whatever it is it is incredible my favorite heels and right now um to just pump myself up i'm about to play taylor swift reputation stadium tour which just always puts me in the best mood how do i do that This is like my favorite makeup ever. Really? Oh like I love it. I mean, legit, like, <gasps> it's so wow. good. Guys, I know I keep getting my makeup done. Um, just been busy a few weeks, but I just got my makeup done by makeup by Beck. You can't even tell on camera like how incredible she did. She's so nice. If you guys are ever in Nashville, or really, I mean, I guess anywhere, probably you could hire her. I will have her Instagram linked below. I also just got more hairspray um, delivered to the hotel because I felt like my curls were kind of falling a little bit too fast. Like, I love this makeup look. There's nothing that makes you feel better than getting your hair and makeup done, you know? Um, I'm gonna eat lunch. I just got Kaba delivered. I'm by myself now. Um, I think I'm going to eat my food and then get dressed and then I'm heading over to the studio in about an hour just to get there a little bit early. Today we're recording with Jason Tardick and Riley Urban. So excited for that. Um, I've got I think like seven for sure recordings this week. Sometimes things are just up in the air. Just love my makeup, truly. I got like a really random order because I don't know, I've only been here once and it was so good. We have it in Dallas, I just like never go. And I don't even know if it's gonna be good because I got the most random thing ever. I just like clicked on stuff. Okay, honestly, that looks incredible. So love that for me. Also got some lemonade. I love lemonade. This is my outfit. The lighting in this room is not the best. So I feel like I'm not giving you the best outfit of the days. I have my Zara suit on, my Skims t-shirt. Revolve heels, these are amazing. Last I checked, they were out of stock. I'll see if I can link them. Here's an overview for whatever reason. I got really anxious. Sometimes if I eat food that's like a little bit spicy, even though I love spicy food, and I'm like kind of stressed or something, I don't know, like I just get anxious. So I did a 10 minute medication, medication, meditation. It actually really helped. I'm not the biggest meditator, but I'm going to be now, all right? So here's my outfit. I'm actually about to walk over to the studio and get going. I'm getting there a little bit early today because I want to like show me around first. I have two recordings and then I'm done today. Wow, guys. Okay, we need to chat. Um, a little bit of an update. Today was a shit show, honestly. So I get to the studio. Our first recording was pushed back a little bit. And then, long story short, we're, like, ready to record. And then they had to cancel. They're rescheduled for tomorrow. So I ended up working out and, like, things happen, whatever. But we were there. And I'm like, okay, 
fine whatever like it sucks obviously when i like fly out here like it is a pain but it's like you know things happen that are out of my control out of their control whatever it's not a big deal and it got rescheduled tomorrow so like totally fine and then the next recording we had um again it was just like a mistake miscommunication i guess they thought it was like virtual and it obviously is like in studio um so then they ended up it was mallory urban who literally is an angel it was just miscommunication she got up and drove like 30 minutes and like has so much going on has like a flight at 5 a.m tomorrow and just like an angel kicked it out of the park an incredible episode so i was at the studio for like three extra hours that i needed to be but it's okay things like that happen the next two days i have three episodes each so and mallory's episode was absolutely incredible so anyways i'm back i changed i'm wearing jeans and my revolve heels um and julia and hunter made us a dinner res so i'm gonna go meet them for dinner i'm so excited to see them i haven't seen them since they moved to mash to mashville to nashville i'm also really hungry and i just like i need it you know i'm gonna listen to some taylor swift again it wasn't like anyone's fault it was just that like when the whole day just tumbled and there was a lot of other like back end stuff um seven from the podcast that was like not great news today but here we are we are pushing through it is all good it was no one's fault um the episodes are gonna be great i'm really excited to record with jason tomorrow and we're doing three tomorrow and then three the next day and then dom arrives and the girls arrive and um dom and i are gonna go to bluebird cafe and i don't care if i get ripped apart for that because like i i need to be there because i love the show nashville you know what i mean i'm gonna stop talking i'll talk to you guys later all right i just changed last minute into boots because it started pouring and i'm not wearing heels i'm leaving i'm so hungry we're off good morning happy wednesday this is my outfit for the morning i'm actually going to a sauna which i will share with you guys um i'm not working out this week i thought i was gonna go on more walks maybe i still will i have i actually had I don't know, maybe this afternoon because I had a podcast recording get moved up. So I have them at one, two, and three today. But anyways, sports bra set active. These um I think are Amazon, I wanna say. I'm wearing the Okine top. Um, I'm gonna go get some coffee and then head off to the sauna, which I think will be good for my skin, hopefully. And it's just gonna be nice to sit in there for a little bit. Like do something good for me this week, you know? All right, guys, I'm at the sauna. It's an infrared sauna. I want one of these for my house, I'm not kidding. I'm like actually considering buying one, but it is so nice. Also, it's convenient because blue, I wanna say blue is for, ah, wait. Yeah, see skin cells. It's normal, it's good for like your acne essentially, but I love infrared and then in here. So if you guys are coming to Nashville, highly recommend, especially if you're here for like a girl's weekend or bachelor weekend or whatever, and you like come in here, they have like IVs. I'm going this weekend for a hangover IV. I mean, it's really cute, guys. Oh my God. I just had the most incredible experience. That sauna has like a screen, little TV in there. You can watch YouTube, Spotify, I think YouTube. I watch Spotify like podcast. It was so incredible. I'm so glad. This is in Green Hills, by the way, so it's like 15 minutes outside of downtown, which is where I'm staying. But I really want an infrared sauna at my house. Like I've been really actually talking about it to a lot of friends recently. So let me know if you guys have good recs. Um, but anyways, if you guys are in Nashville or you're doing like Nashville girls shows or you live in Nashville, come here. It's incredible. It's like a whole wellness place. We need one of these in Dallas. I really hope they open because I will literally come every week. Um, but I'm hoping that it helps when we break out. Sorry that I keep talking about it, guys. I just, I'm not feeling good about my skin this week and take for granted when my skin is so clear and i'll never do that again after this week no 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 not at all i think i have the chicken box but um we're always harder on ourselves than we are on other people too like obviously my skin is fine and like i will live and i feel good but it's just interesting i don't know it's such a vulnerable thing like acne and breakouts and things like that and i think it's from traveling and probably like wear my mask because that's where it is but i mean like whatever it, it's fine obviously i don't care about that but it's also crazy like wearing your own clothing pieces places like this is my clothing brand someone was like i like your top and i was like thank you but it's literally my clothing brand i didn't say that to them but it just feels good all right guys i'm currently listening to probably a podcast with shannon ford i just had some like brunch i guess delivered because i'll be recording during lunchtime i ordered from first watch which we have in texas and i love they have this kale tonic which is so good i know it doesn't look good i'm sure but it's actually like really inexpensive for a green juice as well. I'm craving like vegetables and stuff because I've just been eating so poorly. But I got salmon last night, but I got like a healthier option just because you know when you've been eating horribly, it gets to the point where like you're actually craving a carrot. Like that's where I'm at right now. All right guys, so I'm back. I've gotten ready. I had my green juice. You know, I need light in here. Dom and I FaceTime. I cannot wait to take my self tanner off like it really needs to be scrubbed off but you know when you're just in that in between time and you have to like 
wait and you know schedule it with the rest of your life i would do anything to just be able to naturally tan even though i know that would be bad for my skin but like i just can't anyways i am putting my shoes on we are about to head over to the studio it's about like a six seven minute walk so um, i'm gonna head over there i think i might get another matcha before just to have a drink i've been trying to like just be a matcha girly these days i've obviously still been drinking coffee but um i just am trying to incorporate more matcha also these shoes by the way are some of my best purchases or one of my best purchases of 2022 so good so yesterday i was really anxious and i really didn't know why and uh, these jeans by the way need to be like washed because they're definitely like you know when they just stretch out too much but i only wore them last night and i just don't want to ruin like another pair of jeans not ruin but you know what i'm saying this is the look um i'm bringing a pink blazer and a blue blazer i'm recording three episodes today just so i'm not wearing like the exact same thing in three episodes which like literally doesn't matter but it matters to me okay and then i'm also bringing my okra into a bag i tried not to bring it back yesterday but like what a mistake so i have this tote it is the best tote ever it comes out next month um we're gonna head off i'm gonna get some matcha and then we're gonna go i did my own makeup today i won't be doing it tomorrow i have another makeup artist coming tomorrow but um i think i did like a fine job i'm not a makeup artist by any means and once i realized that i could just get my makeup done by other people and it would look so much better i just said you know what that's a price i'm willing to pay so today is carter faith jason tardick and justin anderson we're off hi guys okay i am always not the best at vlogging during recording weeks today was incredible it was a way better day than yesterday i feel like for whatever reason like my interviews with Mallory and Jason, I just like wasn't fully me, but I was just like, I think like flustered almost. Like, I don't know, like yeah, interviewing, like hosting in general is kind of like a weird thing. And I feel like I'm like in my flow state when I do it, but I didn't feel in my flow state with them, which I think is now making me be like really hard on myself. I just posted stories talking about this and probably TikTok, I mean dramatic. Um, but it's so crazy how like one day you feel like you're on top of the world and killing it. And the next day you're like, okay, I talk too much, I suck. Like even going to dinner last night with Julian Hunter, who I adore and I know that they're not saying this or thinking this or like whatever, it's all a me thing. You leave and you're like, maybe I talked too much, maybe I did this, maybe I did that. And I'm like, it's just so weird how I will randomly feel that way and it doesn't happen that often. Ironically, actually, Carter Faith and I recorded today and we talked about how, like, the concept of both and, like, you can be a very confident person and still have off days. And I would say I'm a very confident person and I'm having an off day. But I think especially with recording, because it is recorded and, like, everyone can hear it, then you just get really, like, critical. It's hard for me to listen to my own episodes because I will get very critical, which is like a shame because I need to listen to then get better kind of thing. Um, but anyways, I'm just like being hard on myself and I, I don't really know why, like I know I'm gonna end up loving these episodes and it's great and it's gonna be fine, people get better and like whatever. Also, I would say I am a good host. Like that is a, something that like I'm confident in with myself. So I don't know, I mean, whatever. But I really love today's episode. I love the episodes too, that's what's weird about it. I think I just am like, I don't love me in the episodes, but I do and also i just am like afraid to like i just feel like we live in a world where like things are taken out of context and really um like people are just like cancel so easily and like i'm a pretty like i don't have any any opinions or thoughts or things or whatever that i would ever cancel for i'm a pretty progressive person so like it's weird because it's like this weird fears but like there would be no reason like it's just this like weird like self-induced like maybe weird like people pleasing thing of like feeling like i don't want people to dislike me on the internet because like i say maybe i like don't really love la anymore like, i don't know what it is it is so weird or people thinking like oh like ignorant or like so I, I really don't know but anyways i need to get over that because like it's just holding me back and like i'm being stupid and also i love the episodes like i'm confident that you guys love the episodes so anyways um i'm going to dinner with sarah bell tonight i'm just threw on the okine set which this one we only have samples i am a size actually when you guys go to order just so you know i'm wearing right now i'm wearing a size medium large i'm actually going to be an extra small small because these are oversized sets so it's getting to the point where like it actually is just too big but honestly like this is the only thing that i feel like wearing right now and it's so comfortable and it's so easy to throw on and whatever i ordered food that was supposed to be here like an hour ago because i was like i didn't really have like a lunch lunch um and it's getting here in like five minutes and so i'm basically having two dinner so anyways i'm excited to see sarah bell tonight I'm gonna do a little cleanup of my hotel room because tomorrow are there's earlier um it's an earlier start to my day makeup is coming at 7 45 we have christian cole i'm very excited to meet him but yeah anyway it's just i feel like it's normal to 
feel this way sometimes and then to just leave something and be like what the fuck is wrong with me but like there's nothing wrong with me i just wow the way i just sounded was so like hrh guys that was really something I, there's nothing wrong with me i'm just being hard on myself for no reason and also hosting and podcasting is a difficult thing people think it's easy it's not and also there's so many podcasts out in the world and only some of them like really like achieve success or whatever like blah blah, 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 blah. i mean anyways with that being said, I should be proud of myself for where I am at. And I'm reframing, and I am being hard on myself in a way that no one else would probably be hard on myself. But that's actually not true because podcast reviews are hell. So anyways, we are going. Um, I'm wearing, again, the Okai. Let me show you guys. Little black set, little brown tank. I also need to, like, self-tan tonight, so I just feel off. And boots. I know this has, like, been a hotel vlog, but Dom gets here tomorrow, guys, so don't even worry, okay? And then I'll be out of the studio, and then we'll be, like, ready to go. And it's gonna be a good, a good time. Guys, made it to dinner. One of those outfits, I showed it in a vlog, by the way, guys. I got the top. It doesn't fit, so unfortunately, I can't be... It's the cutest outfit ever, though. It's from Zara. Love it. I had to stalk the girl on Zara, because I bought it the other day, and I was like, yeah, it shows the Tina Nashville, and they literally had to search for it for, like, but it was worth it. It's the cutest outfit. Oh, I was not gonna leave there. Absolutely not. Now I'm on the wait list for just get like size up big time in the top. Big time. Yeah, there's just no way. That's actually probably what it is. But anyways, we just got marks. We're gonna eat now. Goodbye. This <laughs> it looks so good. Good morning, guys. Making so much here. It's like 7:30. Bringing coffee. I'm so excited. Just got up, showered. I self tanned last night. Dinner with Sarah was great. She's just such a good person like such a fun girl to get dinner with i'm always so excited to see her because she just has like crazy stories and i don't know like i don't she's just like a, a good conversationalist you know anyways makeup's almost here and my last three recordings today really excited julianne hunter shannon anna ford and anna grace i'm tired shannon ford and anna grace and then uh we have calista coming on this morning here we are i'm actually my face and i had two marks last night so it's gotta be done you know oh also i'm um watching a video to that got edited sent back to me to post i am like such a diva these days i have another makeup artist here do you want to introduce yourself my name is christian i'm from nashville and i mean i just kind of influence on instagram and stuff and try to get my work out so if you're in nashville let me know and i can hit you up so yay we're already besties so anyways very exciting also he brought me coffee so like um 15 points for him <laughs> All right, guys, I'm in a rush going to the studio. I love Christian. I'm hoping that we get our makeup done by him as well tomorrow. Um, I have three recordings today, so we're off to the studio. I might actually vlog there, who knows? Um, I'm gonna get there with like one minute to spare. I'm just like never late. So it all worked out like perfectly. So anyways, here's my fan. I'm wearing Prada loafers. I've given up on like trying to dress up, you know? Guys, I truly just love this city. I don't speak about many places the way that I speak about Texas and I feel very similarly about Nashville. I love it here. Prada loafers for the day, because I just couldn't bother wearing heels on this walk. There's a hill. Here we are. Good morning. In the studio, guys. I ran here, <laughs> over here. Guys, okay, um, honestly, I just had a little freak out and cried, so I had to take my eyelashes off. So don't mind that. Um, my makeup is like really, obviously intense because I was on camera all day. I just had the best three recordings. Like, I feel so good about my Nashville episodes. And I've just been getting so much good feedback and I feel so incredible and I spent some time with Julian Hunter and they just made me feel so good. Like a million bucks, you know? Dom just landed, she's on her way. Kava is on its way. We have some plans today. We'll take you with us. This is like the last day of the vlog, but loving the makeup, except for my face is like peeling too, so don't mind that, but I also cried and kind of ruined it. Um, but I'm feeling great. There's a new solo episode tonight. We just got the photos back from the Okai. I haven't been able to look at them fully yet. Oh my gosh, you know, just a working gal, truly. But I'm really, really excited for the episodes coming. I think you guys are gonna love them. Like, I know for a fact you guys will love them. So, I'm very happy. Guys, guys, we're gonna go get done. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> 
Okay. You don't Next time you hug. say you don't hug me, or I don't hug you. No, but like I don't need to hear it from you. Wow, she looks so official. I mean, like look at her as a president of the United States. Just arrived to my hotel. Pink Uggs too. I need people to understand this is very my handsome and wealthy. Mmm, got it. But she copied me, guys. So. Look at me. God, I mean influencers. Like, what are you gonna do? <laughs> They're the worst. Me with two cameras. Um, by the way, Dom got here about you know 15 seconds ago. This is cute. I already got some that I think are good. By the way. Okay, thank you. Handsome and wealthy. <laughs> Guys, let me tell you something that is like beyond fucked up. Obviously, I'm like the biggest Uggs fan that there's ever been. I never stopped wearing them. Whenever I get Dom into them, I like force her to get them after. I literally made her, it took me like two years to get to wear Uggs. And now Uggs loves her and emails her and sends her, she's, they sent her those pink Uggs. They sent me the pink Uggs. Yeah, um, no, I'm, I'm happy wait, for you I'm gonna show you my DMs with them because it's actually pretty funny. I posted a reel about something and the person was like, you sold me on the sweater, about to add to cart. I'm like, wow, we're best friends. They're like, what's your email? The one in your bio looks different. Wanted to double check XX. So happy you like. And it's an absolute pleasure. I'm, I'm happy for you. I am. Yeah. truly am. I can celebrate my friends. <laughs> even though they got it for me. So wow. it's fine. No, it really is. Okay, I need to tell you about Molly and Hayden. My new besties that I've told everyone I've come into contact with. Hi, besties. It's Kenzie. I love them. And they were the most incredible people. And they actually, was telling Dom this, have like, completely inspired how I want to build a team for the Oakland. Like, they're just the greatest people ever. Anyways, I made besties with people who are working at the studio and now we're gonna get drinks with them, so. I need to just do a meeting for a live show. Truly, I'm working out. I'm currently checking an out vlog edit and then pretty soon I'll be done and off to the bars we go because that is where I need to be. Yeah. At around four, I'm assuming we'll leave. It's 2.21. I feel like the whole vlog has been in the hotel, so thank God you're here, you know? Hey! Guys, Dom just asked me what Broadway was. We're in Nashville right now. Hey, I've never been to Nashville. I just started listening to country music last year. I, she literally thought they meant Broadway like theater when they were talking about it in country music until about two seconds ago. Why did you think that those two would... I, they talk about DJ in the club and the DJ playing my favorite song. Come on, come on, come on. <laughs> <laughs> come on. Just me. They were talking about Broadway in New York. Because when I think about country music, I don't think about DJs. So. Broadway in New York doesn't have DJs either. So. Was I so Have wrong? you seen a Broadway show before? Was I so wrong? Yes. Have you, have you seen Broadway? A show on Broadway before? Have you seen a show on Yes. Broadway? Like many times. Probably have it. Probably have it. I have. It's okay. It's okay, Kenzie. Don't be shy now. Let the cameras on. That you haven't seen a show on Broadway. Okay. She's like gaslighting me. She's. And I thought we were going to see a couple shows on Broadway. So. No shows on Broadway, people, when you come to Nashville. <laughs> Oh, you thought we were gonna go see Broadway shows in Nashville, Tennessee? Uh huh. No oh, when we were saying Broadway in the group chat, did you think we meant shows? No, <laughs> <laughs> no it's the bars. I'll just, uh, I'll just unpack my <laughs> clothes that I packed for the theater. So, <laughs> don't worry about me. So, this amazing company, Abbott Lion, love them so much, sent me this custom necklace that says Dom. They sent me two. And I just don't think they realized, it was a little cruel, because I'm single. And none of my friends want to take the other one that says Dom. It's a little hurtful, doesn't feel the best. Kind of a constant reminder, knowing that I have two of these. Breaking news in the book world. Netflix sets Liz something to adapt New York Times bestseller, The Seven Husbands of Evelyn Hugo film. Have you read that book yet? No, of course you haven't. Dom, you have, it's like the best book ever. Okay, I will read it. Maybe if I could get one of her seven husbands to wear this necklace, then just- I'll wear the necklace, Dom. Dom wants me to read it. Maybe, I would feel- I was so hungry and I just like ate Dude, so fast. Like, have to leave or I'm going to pass Okay, away. we will, we will, we will. I've been waiting on you. Kenzie, I haven't ate today. I was on a five hour flight. No, you I've know? actually been waiting on Dom to eat and now she's acting like- What do you mean, eat what? No, okay. You just ordered Cabo without me. You didn't even An hour before me. Dom got here, I ordered it because I hadn't eaten all day. My flight was not I had not had one bite of food. And then I, what I'm saying is that I have in no way, shape, or form been holding you back from us leaving to get food. You have just been getting ready. You, you keep saying, I'm, I need to work. I need to work. Okay, no. I'm you had to get ready before anyways. What okay, did so you do to my forehead? Right now, what's going to happen? I don't know, but like, what did I do to my forehead? We're about to head out to get Dominique her food. Which, by the way, I ordered my food way before she was landing and just came Came at like an hour and a half late, which has been like a theme. DoorDash in Nashville. I mean, I do think there's something a little evil about Kenzie not waiting for me, but that's okay. 
By the way, like Dom before, I said, I was like, hey, sorry, I have food. Like, we can split it. And she, like, didn't want to. And well, I can't. Was like, no, it's no problem. It's Cameras come on, diva. No, I can't eat it. Because I have braces now. Also, life update, I have braces. Second life update, um, can you believe that Kenzie got me a Balenciaga bag? I just, like, don't remember that. You put that um, in the title. Buying my best friend a Balenciaga <laughs> yeah, bag. Actually, here's our Nashville fits. Who looks more country? Actually, maybe you show them your boots. I'm wearing boots. Y'all are boots? Top is Princess Polly. Jeans are Abercrombie. Boots are Idlewind. We're ready to go. All right, guys, we're going to get drinks with my besties and Dom. Um, <laughs> you know, my new besties that I just met this week. Yeah, I'm really Are excited. you excited to meet my best friend? <laughs> I haven't eaten shit today, so now I'm about to have this market. Yeah, literally, and be done. Hey! Perfect. One of the greatest duos in music history. Guys, I am losing my voice. Um, Dom's not coming to recap the night, but sh I am long story short, night. we said we're not really going to do much, and I lost my voice. It's actually kind of bad. Like, I know I'll wake up with it, but I'm gonna need a lot of hot tea tomorrow. It's I really mean, scary. I feel like I'm on Love is Blind, you know, Wait. after, you know, on Love is Blind, like, after their first night together, I, and they're, like, doing the, like, couples vlog. I've never seen that. Before. Well, they vlog in it? Yeah, they vlog. And I feel like that's what's happening right now. Oh, well, guys, one second. I have a TikTok to show. Can you make sure it's focused? That's so cute. POV, your mom takes hosting book club as serious as Kenzie Elizabeth. Okay, it's a little out of focus. Fab. Wait, that's so cute. Right? Um, hosts a book club as serious as Kenzie Elizabeth. I'll never do that though. <laughs> okay, so tonight was so freaking fun. I was trying to suss out the vibes of Nashville, you know, and I wasn't sure what it was going to be like. So much freaking fun. Food that we ate, so fire. Nice. Places that we drank, so fire. Um, the first bar that we went to was a little, mm, you know, cause like, I didn't know that Nashville is all about live music. The first bar would have been better if like, the music was like, like, like here's my, here's, here's, it wasn't really the bar itself. It wasn't it was the just, bar itself. Yeah. Actually, you know what? I take back everything What's I say. Zero? That would've been fine. I take back everything I say, and this is, this is why I was thrown off. I wasn't expecting walking up eight floors to get to a rooftop. No, it was eight. And it was very disturbing for me. Next place we went to was a karaoke bar. Best, like, wannabes. Wannabes. Literally, if we'll you. We'll be back. If you, yeah, we will 100% be back. Like, I was, I was not even at all, like, feeling the alcohol. And I felt inclined to sing on stage. So I did. And I'll give you a little preview of what it sounded like. I saw the light, I've been baptized by the fire and the, and the flame in the rise. I'm born to love again, I'm a brand new man. So that was essentially what happened. And from there, we go to another bar that one of our friend's roommates was performing at. Tootsies? Mm, yeah. And that was very like ugly, wild coyote, like ugly coyote? Is that the movie? Yeah, no, it was cool. It was, it was so sick. It was very packed. We start walking downstairs. They start playing Dick Down in Dallas. Shout out Trey Lewis. Yeah, and cool. it just felt like a sign. And then we ended the night at this place called Divine, if you will. It was very divine. Like literally, it was just very cool. Then we go to Mama's Ruin. Mm -hmm. That was a, that bar is sick. It definitely was like I feel like I could have like met some baddies, chatted, like really worked the room, you know, because it wasn't too packed. But like it was, there were a lot of people there. So I feel really good about my first night in Nashville, and I think that it's going to be a night full of debauchery. I think a lot of debauchery is gonna happen. And now I'm glowing like a glazed donut because I have about. I don't know, nine products on my face because I've really upped my skincare routine. And I gave Kenzie some of those products too. Yeah, because I'm like out of my skincare now, so I'm enough to actually be using those this weekend, by the way. Mm -hmm. It's funny, they hate you until they need you. It's funny how the tables have turned. Oh, do you guys wanna see my shirt? It says, my personality trait is my Dyson. Shout out Sam Bergini. 
Okay. Lamborghini. We love you guys so much. Had the most fab week in Nashville. So excited for the podcast recordings. Love my life. Love you guys. Um, I'm gonna go to bed. And, oh, actually, I'm gonna read. Um, I've been reading Josh Peck's memoir this week, and it's been really, really, really good. I'm not gonna lie. I, I, not that I would lie, but I don't know. We love you, Josh Peck. Um, and I'm not gonna read. I'm gonna watch TV. Okay, bye. Love you. Love bye. you more than Kenzie. <sighs> Mm -hmm. I'm your favorite. <laughs> good night. Good night. Good night, everyone. I mean, this is like something I love about my relationship with my mom. Her and I are really close, and she'll call me out up for anything, you know, and so will my friends. But I just remember that I was so unhappy and I couldn't figure out really why. And like, I didn't even know what I was doing with my life, but I was trying to not really let my friends know like what was going on. And it was such an, such an insecure time. And I just remember my mom like randomly calling me and just being like, She's just like, I'm worried. Hi guys. So after this week, and honestly, I've been thinking about this since the first time I went to Nashville, I'm really, 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 really highly considering getting a second place in Nashville. I don't want to leave Dallas. I love Dallas. It has nothing to do with me not wanting to be here. I just think if I don't do it now, I never will. I'm turning 25 this summer. Like I might as well just do it. And like, I'm not going to regret getting a year lease somewhere. I don't think, you know, I'm going to try like short term rental first, like later this year. And then if I were to get a lease, it'd probably be 2023. Um, but if you guys have recs or anything or let me know, or if you have thoughts, I don't know. Let me know.